The Canal and River Trust look after and bring to life 2,000 miles of canals, rivers and reservoirs across England and Wales because we believe that life is better by water. Much of our network is over 200 years old and after the Industrial Revolution, some of these canals fell into disrepair, were filled in and built over. But since the year 2000, over 24 canal restoration projects have been completed. Our restoration work helps to transform the communities our waterways run through by enhancing biodiversity, enriching people's lives and serving as a catalyst for further economic regeneration. By supporting our work, you can reach into the heart of local communities. You'll help to support a greener and more sustainable future. And you'll also help to provide individuals with the skills and training they need to conserve our nation's heritage for years to come. Since its formation in 2013, the Grantham Canal Heritage Initiative has been restoring and repairing locks along the Grantham Canal, making sections of the waterway navigable once again. If you were here six years ago, this canal here was completely overgrown with reeds, very silted up, had crumbling and broken walls, but was a time capsule. It still had a lot of its original heritage features here, just waiting to be saved. We took it all the way down to its floor level and rebuilt it. It's been an immense achievement by everybody that's been involved in the partnership. You didn't need to have any construction experience to come along and get involved in this project. And we've trained volunteers in everything from using small tools all the way through to operating excavators and dumpers. Canal restorations like these can benefit communities massively. It attracts investment into an area provides really good conditions for new business startups, but also at the same time improving that blue-green infrastructure that's so important. Seeing restorations is fantastic. Crossing the border of England and Wales, the Montgomery Canal boasts 127 listed structures and is a site of special scientific interest along most of its length. Originally built in 1821, the canal had fallen into disrepair during the 20th century but today, more than half of the waterway has already been restored. Before we started the project, the canal was derelict. It was more like a swamp. There wasn't really anything here. By the time we finish this project, it'll be unrecognisable. The volunteers are brilliant. They've taken on the project from the beginning and they'll see it through to the end. They're very skilled, very committed. They're a real pleasure to work with. I've been volunteering here for about two years. It's a lovely opportunity to meet some nice, interesting people and do something that you can only do as a group. No one individual could do all this. And it's just lovely to be part of something bigger than yourself. The main thing for me is a sense of achievement. It is really good to do something for the community. When London was voted the host of the 2012 Games, the centrepiece of the bid was an ambitious new venue running along the series of old waterways in London's East End, the Bowback Rivers. Working with the Heritage Lottery Fund, the Canal and River Trust undertook a £1.8 million project to restore Carpenter's Road Lock, sitting at the heart of the Olympic Village. The lock was completely derelict. We've had to come in and remove the lock gates, fully repair that and we've reinstalled the superstructure over the top of the lock as well. It's a huge undertaking to get to where we are today. The trip boats, which go through the lock regularly, provide a wonderful attraction, and round the lock are wonderful viewing platforms which form part of the whole area. And this is amazing to see regeneration. Projects like this are really important for regeneration and for well-being outcomes, particularly in urban areas. 35 years ago, you couldn't come here, but now I've seen people exercising in the park, I've seen people using the waterways, children playing in the playground. The canal has been a really important central focus of all of this activity and it's really lovely to see. With these projects and many more like them, the Canal and River Trust is working hard every day to conserve and restore the waterways of England and Wales. But it's only with your help that we can protect the heritage and wildlife that our canals and rivers provide us, as well as support the local communities whose lives are intertwined with them. Please get in touch to find out more about how you can get involved and support our work. <laughs>